as they say, time flies, and uh, there's no question that uh, 24 years kind of went by quick. Although there's been some long years, but it's been uh, a great ride where I hope the best yet to come. Well, I've got a lot of motivation this year, you know, just we haven't really finished uh, the season like we'd like to the last two years. And I think there's a lot of motivation and I got an experienced team for the first time. So uh, got a lot of good reasons this year with the uh, veterans. We have seven of them, six of them are juniors and seniors, which hasn't happened for a while. And uh, one sophomore that, uh, you know, will be playing a lot, I think, in a Xavier Tillman. And, uh, and maybe as important as anything is those five freshmen and a couple of redshirt freshmen, I think are going to bring a lot of excitement and enthusiasm. They're athletic. We got guys that can shoot it. We got length. We've got a little bit of everything in that freshman class. I've got McQuaid and Josh have been unbelievable. I mean, they've been in there morning, noon, and night. But the surprise and the good things are when you get a Nick Ward spending a ton of time in the gym in the summer, Xavier Tillman spending a ton of time in the gym this summer, Kyle Arns getting healthier, watching Cassius grow, and then those freshmen follow. You know, they, they look at it at this is the norm. This is what you do at Michigan State. And that's the advantage of veterans and upperclassmen. You know, our schedule has always been really good, but uh, I must admit, when you have years, certain years, it gets tougher and tougher. And I think three of the last five years, we've opened up with the number one team in the country. We have a lot of road games or neutral site games in those five or six killer uh, games early. And that's gonna, give us a good chance to figure out where we are. You know, um, sometimes you have to figure that out with a win, and sometimes you have to figure that out with a loss. And uh, we've done it both ways, so I'm anxious to see uh, how we'll do when we play one of those top teams in Kansas on opening night. Going into the summer, losing uh, Miles and Tom, of course, you know, probably two most vocal ones on the team. And, uh, you know, I, I just uh, took upon myself to, like, be more vocal because I felt like, you know, it's it's my turn to step into that role and uh, try and uh, talk, talk more, you know, help the freshmen out more, not just on the court but off the court too, you know, let them know that I'll be there for them whenever. So, uh, you know, there's just different things that go into being a captain. Don't no stop, come on, don't no stop. Don't no stop, don't no stop, don't no stop. Don't no stop, don't no stop, don't no stop, don't no stop. No stop. No stop, come on, don't no stop. I feel like, you know, this thing we have coming in, you know, it's kind of a mixture, you know, of veterans and young players as well. It's a good mixture, and I feel like, you know, everybody has bought in, everybody's, you know, ready to, um, you know, to take on this season. But I think uh, we're focused on progressing and getting better every day and uh, practice and even on off days is coming in and watching film and just trying to make each other better and hold each other accountable. We understand, you know, what it's like, you know, what's it going to be like, how it is on the road and different things like that. Um, I think the best way to, to, to go about it is just to go in every day and, and then treat every day like, you know, it's a Champions Classic, or treat every day like it's a Final Four, treat every day like it's a, you know, a Big Ten Championship or a National Championship. You know, that way once you get um, to those um, different games and different um, venues, it'll be just another day for you. So every day has to be a day where you, you know, you seize the day and just go in and, and give 110%. Therefore, you know, when you come in to those days, you know, it just be another day to you. Every team's gonna face adversity and that's the true definition of a team is how you respond when that happens. So, you know, just uh, teaching the, um, the young guys, you know, when uh, you're trying to get a bucket late in the game on the road in the Big Ten, you know, it's tough and uh, communication's key. When something good happens, you gotta take advantage of that and build momentum off that. When things go bad, you gotta regroup and uh, come together, see what you did wrong and fix it. And then uh, you gotta come up with the win. As Michigan State, you know, we, we recruit great guys and, you know, we always, you know, find a way to just get along and just, you know, always be around each other and hang around each other. Um, just because of the kind of guys that we are. And I, and I think, you know, as the season progressed, um, that chemistry, just like we had it, in the last two teams that I played on, um, 
it'll be just like that. Our goals have always been big here, and uh, coach play, uh, coaches with a lot of passion, and he makes sure we know that. So we just try to strive for that every day. You know, I feel like with Coach, he's just a guy that's always trying to, you know, get the most out of himself so he can get the most out of his players. And, and I think he's just getting smarter with the way he's coaching. And, you know, he's a Hall of Fame coach, so I think he's doing, he's doing something right, you know, at the end of the day. But I feel like with Coach, he's just um, really progressed, um, you know, in his, in, in his wisdom and, you know, the way he coaches, the way he teaches. And, and, but he's still Tom Izzo, and I don't think that's going to ever change.